We all know about tree farms during the holiday season, but what about all the other months of the year? We talked to one farm to see how they prepare for the busy season. Trees are his first love. He would have loved to climb trees all his life, but he found another way to play with trees all his life. They planted their first crop of trees in 1970 and have been planting ever since. Tannenbaum Farm in Center Hall stands at 140 acres and is filled with five different types of trees. They've come a long way since planting that first crop and they say they have the repeated support of the community and family to thank. The neighbors who were our neighbors and helped loan us tractors are now loaning us their grandchildren to help. And a lot of their workers have been with them for many, many years. They come to the farm to help as children and stay well into adulthood. We have two men here approaching 60 who started with us when they were 19. They were students at Penn State. They've been with us every year since. That local support is what helps keep this Christmas tree farm a joyous and positive one, not just during the holiday season, but year round as well. And they told us for them, there is no off season. Their work is year round. You prepare the land for the planting of the trees. You plant the trees, you fertilize the trees. Unfortunately, the Fraser fir like to develop cones can become so compacted that it, and you don't even see the needles on the top of the tree anymore. We wanted to know how do they get those perfect looking trees year after year that we are all so used to seeing in Christmas tree farms. And it's a long process, starting from the first moment the seed is put into the ground up until the last steps, which is giving the tree its classic shape. And the first stage of shaping them is to make the top the right height. And then we shape the next lateral branches and then another group comes along sometimes with machines or now nowadays with machines but it used to be with hand shears and clips the sides to make them look they don't grow like you see them in the field then the second part of the process is like a grading scale you have to decide which trees are for sale so you have to walk through the fields put ribbons on ones that we think are premium, ribbons on ones that we think are number one. A premium tree is what we think is a perfect tree, and number one is the next grade. They're graded by USDA standards. Those USDA standards are broken down into three different categories with different criteria for each. The three categories start with first, US premium, which is your perfect tree. Then it's US number one, you're one step below perfect. And finally, US number two. And we had to know what their most popular trees seem to be. They said the Fraser fir. But what about the trees that don't meet the USDA regulations? What happens to them? They put them to good use as well by going around the farm and collecting greens from the ground and those trees, bringing them back to the farm and using them to make their holiday wreaths. Though it is a busy time of year, these farm owners wouldn't have it any other way. This is what I love when the people come. I love working with the young people too. I just enjoy having happy people around and a happy time of year. Craig and I say we are the place, we aren't. The community's place, friends are the place, our animals are the place, our family. Uh, we've had a lot of family support along the way. And if they do have any trees left over on the farm at the end of the year, they donate them to needy families in the Center County area. And there isn't anything wrong with having an artificial tree this holiday season. It's all about the tradition and just spending time together during this joyous time of year. There is a place and a reason for both. The best reason for the cut your own Christmas tree, buying a Christmas tree, a live Christmas tree on a lot are more fresh, they come more from more local spots. Uh, they're generally more full, more developed. It's the family tradition of being out, able to go out and do it together. It's just a good time for a lot, of, a lot of people, and it's a meaningful time for many of those people as well. 